said, we'd like to talk to you about the New York Jets, but you know, there, there's a little side issue that probably is the most important thing. And I, I would ask you the first most important question to me, are the Jets in a football way better off having Ryan Fitzpatrick be the quarterback of this team? Well, it's an interesting question, and a lot of people have posed that lately. Uh, because in Fitzpatrick, you're getting a quarterback, a seasoned vet, been around 11 years in the National Football League. He's seen it all. He's had experience under Chan Galen before with the Bills from 2010 to 2012. And, of course, Chan is the offensive coordinator here right now. So very familiar with the system, comfortable with it, smart guy, knows where to go with the football. But with all that being said, Geno Smith was really having a good camp, guys. I know with the practices and things like that, but uh, he had only uh, two interceptions and one uh, strip sack through about nine practices before the incident uh, Wednesday. Uh, well, actually, it was uh, Tuesday. I got my days mixed up here in a Florham Park. So the Jets were excited about the progress Geno was showing after his third season, especially under Chan Gailey. But with that being said, I think they were really happy to get Fitzpatrick on board in March, uh, acquiring the veteran from the Houston Texans. And you look at Fitzpatrick last season, 17 touchdown passes, only eight interceptions. The one thing that Todd Bowles wants from his quarterback position is less turnovers. And Fitzy really protected the football well last year. Now the big thing for him, guys, going forward, is he didn't take any first-team reps in camp. So he's got to get on the same page with Brandon uh, Brandon Marshall, Eric Decker, of course, and then his center, Nick Mangold, because, you know, in a few weeks, this regular season is going to be underway as the Jets play host to the Cleveland Browns.